peeps, it's Trish here with another wonderful video. Today we're going to be do, doing some cooking. As you can tell, I'm in my kitchen and we are doing Portuguese rice pudding today. Um, I love rice pudding. It's one of my favorites. I actually, my favorite dessert is the kavakas that I've done before in the past and I made a video. So go back way back and you'll see the recipe for the kavakas which are from college the reina that's where my dad was from and rice pudding is one of my very very favorite desserts too i hardly ever make it um i made it probably oh my whole life probably no more than three or four times um my sister-in-law one of my sister-in-laws, she does a really, really great rice pudding. And one of my very good friends makes a really good rice pudding also. So I always love theirs. That's why I've never made it, because they always give me some. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try, ma try making it again. All right? And I got a recipe, and this is what the recipe calls for. All right. Let's get to it, peeps. What we'll need is the... Uh, one cup of rice and preferably you use Carolina short grain rice. I actually have Carolina here but it's a long grain rice but that's okay I'm gonna use that one because I didn't have the short grain but preferably one cup of Carolina short grain rice then you will need one cup of granulated sugar three egg yolks A peel of lemon zest. You could do a couple. I did a long lemon zest peel. One cinnamon stick. Half a teaspoon of salt. I usually don't even put salt in mine, but this recipe adds for salt. So half a teaspoon of salt. Three cups of whole milk. Two cups of water, a wooden spoon, and a medium sized pot. And out, then for decoration, you will need some ground cinnamon. All right, let's get to it. First thing you're going to do is bring your water to a boil. I actually use, I'm using a small saucepan also. So you're going to bring your water to a boil. You're going to add your lemon peel. And you're going to add your cinnamon stick while you're boiling the water. All right. A little hat bit here while I'm doing this. I, when I'm cooking, every time I'm cooking and whatever spoon I'm using to mix my ingredients, whether I'm bait, whether I'm boiling water, milk, or cooking rice or anything like that, or even making any kind of stew over the stove, I take my utensil that I'm using to mix my ingredients and I put it over my pot like that so what happens is if it starts boiling and trying to go over the spoon will actually interact with the liquid or whatever ingredients you're trying to make and slow it down from overflowing so I do that all the time just a habit I have of doing it um, not sure where I pick that up from but some of you might already know it but yeah quick little hack there so we don't over Boil your pot. I'm going to place it now in my bigger pan. You could do that right away, but I just chose it to do it that way. And in this small pan, now I'm going to boil the milk. the milk. 
It's already a little hot. I boiled it earlier a little bit, started to. So now I'm gonna boil that milk. And while that milk is boiling, I'm going to continue with my mix water mixture. I'm gonna move the milk closer to you while it boils. Put my water mixture back with a cinnamon. You're gonna keep the cinnamon and the lemon peel in there for now. And your next step will be to I'm add the add rice. Your one cup of short grain Carolina rice into your water mixture with the cinnamon stick and lemon peel still in there. And you're gonna have to really keep it a little eye on this one, a little bit of extra eye while it's boiling. Um, you are going to keep mixing it here and there. And you're gonna cook this rice until the entire water and there evaporates. Here's the rest of my one cup of rice. And while you're doing that, you could have your milk boiling, starting to get hot. Okay, now that you see the water has all evaporated pretty much, you are going to add your hot milk to your rice mixture now. And you are going to cook it for at least about 25 minutes, 30 minutes on low and stirring. And this is one of a very important part. Um, you do not want it to burn. Oops or stick to the bottom of the pan. So you constantly need to stir it. For about 25 minutes, you're gonna do this. Just add a little bit. Turn that other one off. And you're gonna put your, on low, you're gonna put your heat on low for this part. And you just gotta keep an eye on this mixture so it does not burn. You do not want it to burn for sure because then it'll, it won't taste as good, you know? You might see while you're mixing, doing your mixture, you might see a little um, of the cinnamon stick particles come off, which is fine, it's just a cinnamon stick. We are gonna add cinnamon after eventually to the finished product, so it's not a big deal. Okay. That looks like it's pretty creamy. See how that, it's been cooking about 30 minutes. The rice looks like it's cooked. And now this is the time you turn off your stove. Now this is the time before you add your sugar, you need to take your cinnamon stick and your lemon peel out of your mixture. another little piece that is here oops where did it go here it is that's all I have for let me see make sure I got it all I mean if a little lemon peel stays behind oh here's a little it's not a big deal there it goes and I think that's it Okay, now this part, you now it's time to add the sugar. You turn off your stove. You do not need the stove on to do this part. You add your sugar. This is very important um, because once you add your sugar to your rice mixture, your rice is done cooking. Um, it will not cook with the sugar after that, which it is, the, mine is done cooking. It's actually coming out so good. It looks so good. Okay, now you add your sugar mixture and your sugar is gonna be let me see here, one cup of granulated sugar. And you cook it for five minutes with the stove off though. You just mix it for about five minutes. Leave it on your stove top. Okay, so one cup of granulated sugar. is 
like I said, it's one cup of sugar, but if you find that it's too sweet for you, just cut it down next time. See, here's another little lemon peel. Not a big deal. If you see it, you could take it out. If not, not a big deal. Um, if you find that it's too sweet, just cut down the sugar next time. Or if you find it's not sweet enough, you could add a little bit more. But I usually do not add any more. It's usually pretty good. If anything, I probably will cut some of it out if I find it too sweet when I try it. But it is coming out so good. No burning. No, I kept mixing it here and there. I do see another little lemon peel in there, which I'll get after. Add your half a teaspoon of salt to when you add the sugar. And if you don't want to add salt, you don't. I usually don't, but since the recipe, this recipe called for it, I, I'm just adding it in a little bit. I said mix it for about five minutes with no heat, with the sugar. And now that should be done. Now you're gonna take your three egg yolks and you are going to beat them. One already broke, of course. Oops, oh shoot. Sorry, peeps, I hit the camera. Okay. okay. Now, this part, you don't want the eggs to cook when you add it to your hot mixture because you don't want them to cook. What you're going to do is you're, temp you're going to temper your eggs, and what that means is you're going to add a little bit of your rice hot mixture just a little bit to your eggs so it tempers it so it doesn't get like a shock when you put it in there and they start cooking so you want that before i add it to this mixture we're doing this like I said I'm not sure if you're understanding but the reason it's so that if you add your egg mixture to your hot rice mixture it's gonna start cooking the eggs are gonna start cooking and you don't want that you want them to mix into your rice without cooking so that's what the reason we're doing this so they get tempered I'll do a couple more before I add it just to make sure. Little by little, no stove on, like I said. You don't need the stove on for this. You're actually done cooking. So just a little bit at a time. And now that your mixture all done, you added your egg yolk. I mean, your egg yo yolks. Your mixture is all done. Now you need to cool it. Let it cool it. Cool it. Sorry. Um, I find you, you find that this plexiglass that I bought these at um, the Christmas tree shop. Uh, that's where I bought these. They're little. They're plexiglass, and I use these a lot for desserts like this, for flan or for things like. It's perfect because it has a little lip. Um, so it's a little thick, so your mixture go up a little bit. It's not too flat. But you could put it on a plate even. If you want your mixture thinner, you could put it on a plate. Um, you could put it in. I wouldn't do it thicker than this because you don't want it too thick. Um, so, and the, like I said, I got these. It's plexiglass. It's so cheap. So cheap at Christmas Tree Shop. And they are made in the USA. So that's where I'm going to pour my mixture into. The rice pudding, I should say, now nice and yellow which is beautiful so you're gonna pour that in and then you're gonna let it cool and then once it's and it hardens a little bit once it's all cool um, you're gonna garnish it with cinnamon powdered cinnamon and I will show you that once it is ready and it's set a little bit all right, and you leave it at room temperature for now. But it does have to go in the fridge afterwards. There, now you just let it sit until it cools and sets a little bit. 
be right back. So it's all nice and cold and it's, it has set the rice pudding. So now I'm gonna garnish it with cinnamon. Now there's a different ways you could do this. You know, be creative, do it the way you like. You could just sprinkle the cinnamon on top as much as you like. Um, another way to do it is you could take a little shot glass. I have these little tiny like stem shot glasses. I have the other ones too, but I figured to use this one. You could dip it. Let me just move this over. Here's the cinnamon. And what you do is you take the little shot glass, you dip the rim in water, a little bit in water right there, and then you dip it in the cinnamon. And then you can make little circles. See that? Oh, let me get more water and more cinnamon here. And you can make little circle designs. All right, I'm going to do this all the way around. perfect but that's okay or you could use your fingers and take a little bit of cinnamon like this make a little you could write something on it or you could just make little designs like this depending how precise you are You know, be creative, do your own designs if you like. Oops, kind of went messy there, but that's okay. Or I have, could do your own little design. I'm gonna do the happy face. I probably should have done it before, but that's okay. So you could do like a little happy face. Let me see if that's how that's going to work out. If I do it, nope, I'm going to do it right here. And then what you just do is you just sprinkle it on top. See that? Watch. See how that's going to come out. Oh well, a little fail, but that's okay. But you get the idea, peeps, all right? And that's it. Then make sure you put this in the fridge because it does have eggs and milk. So you need to keep that, keep a refrigerator, refrigerated, and you can enjoy it later. Um, I like to warm mine up af before, after I put it in the fridge in the microwave so it's a little warm. Yeah, enjoy.